Homies. Homies, if you will. Let's take a moment and feel all of our feelings about the next Sherlock Holmes game finally being out and totally in my hands so that I may play it upon my computer. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so to give you guys a little bit of knowledge, uh, it's by the same people who made the one that I already did a playthrough of, and they put a lot more money and time into this game. The textures are supposed to be way better, the gameplay and just the mechanics are supposed to be great in comparison. Um, I love the other Sherlock Holmes games, but let's be honest, they are jank ball. They are super jank ball. So I've been really excited for this game, and it just came out today, and I immediately downloaded it, and I need you not judge me. I'm going to hop into options really quick here, though. Beep, 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 beep. Graphic setup. You know what? Let's just leave everything on maximum. My computer's going to, like, vomit all over me. Oh, well. Turned the volume down. Again. Subtitles are on. Text language, voice language. What? Wait a minute. Oh. Wait, why can't I? They only have English? Are they going to update it so that there are more languages? I know that the, the development company is in... Uh, Ukraine, right? Oh my god, could I play the Testament of Sherlock Holmes in Ukrainian? That would be dope. Okay, let's start a new game. I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm like that nervous kind of excited. I'm like, oh gosh, I just really want this game to be good. All right, let's do it. Y yes, yes, new game. Let's do it. Oh, so many feelings. That was straight out of the other games. They haven't lost themselves. <laughs> Oh, frog wares. Whoa! All of the title screens have gotten so much more epic since last time. <gasps> I'm so happy! You look so intense! Oh man. What? That was a sound from the other games! Some things don't change. That kid is bad at ladders. <clears throat> oh, they're like little Ow. Lady Sherlock and Watsons. Ah. <laughs> What's this? No. Sherlock and Watson on that thing? Oh god, the puppets are Sherlock and Watson! What is this? What is the concept to this game? I'm already lost. Oh, Watson puppets cute. I want one. Oh, kid, be careful. Antiques. Ooh. That little girl found a sword. Nothing is gonna end well. Oh look! It's a book! Maybe it's a book about pirates with a treasure map. I bet it's one of Watson's thingies. No, I don't think so. I wish that I had seen through all your lies. Oh, start from the beginning, not the middle. And so I decided to pick she up She didn't even change the page. The She's like <laughs> episode of my life this far. It all began early <laughs> one morning in 1898 when Sherlock Holmes invited me to accompany him on a visit to the Marquis of Conningham. He's got the same voice. Oh, I'm so excited. Whoa, that looks so much better than the other games. What? What, my dear fellow? We can now go and inform the Marquis that we have found the Samoan necklace, and very much faster than Inspector Baines, too, which pleases me. Look at how have gorgeous you really that is! Have you the theft, Holmes? And so quickly? I have indeed, Watson. 
And believe me, it was completely unnecessary to spread out all over London, as our friend Baines thought was best. He likes to boast that his methods are equal to mine, but once again, the outcome has contradicted him. <laughs> After all these years of accompanying you upon your investigations, I thought that by now I should be reasonably capable of following your train of thought. But in this particular case, I must admit that I don't understand anything at all. He looks upset. Ah, you see. But you do not observe, Watson. There lies the difference. It is a matter of course. A matter of course? In the middle of the night, when everyone is fast asleep, the service bell within that room rings out and alerts the servants. They dress quickly and come running. But the door is locked and there is a strong smell of burning from within. A few seconds later, the master of the house himself, the robbed Marchioness's husband, the Marquis of Conningham, <coughs> arrives and unlocks the door using the sole key. A fire has started inside the room, but they have managed to arrive in time to put it out. It is at that moment that the Marquis <laughs> realizes that the famous Samoan necklace, which had been safe within its glass cabinet only a few hours earlier, has now disappeared. Ah, I love In order exposition. to explain, let us confirm my theory before the arrival of Inspector Baines. Yes, teach us how to use the game. To look around, use your mouse. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, it's so smooth. To walk. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, guys, just... I know... I know that some of you haven't played these games before, but I can say... With reasonable confidence that I am already impressed. I'm, I'm walking in the desired direction. Where do I need to go? How do I click on things, though? This is different now. Oh, oh, uh. Okay. So I'm walking around. Oh, uh. Would it be E? Oh. No, that's... Oh, yes! Remember all this nonsense? Alright, there are all my things. Oh good, I have matches and a pocket knife. Hopefully, mustache scissors later. This menu is not available. Oh, do I get myrtles? I can't wait to get myrtles. Okay. Um, then what would be my, like, action button? It's not enter. Can I- if I walk up to you, can I talk to you? Will it tell me- You wanna, like- you wanna, like, make out? What are- what's- what's happening here? You wanna, like- I'm walking in a desired direction! Do I need to walk over here? Um, let's look at the controls. <coughs> okay, wads. Action is return. Okay. Walking and running. Oh, good, you can run. First person to third person view. Sixth sense. What does that mean? Previous item, next item, and then all the inventories. Okay. Yep, that's cool. Let's resume. But... Wh <laughs> when I hit... Oh, that's my sixth sense button. That's right. What am I doing? Okay, maybe I need to... Maybe I need to open this up. Watson, my dear fellow. Blah, 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 blah. In order to explain, let us confirm my theory. Yes. Man, it's all going so... Uh, right click opens up the menus too. It's all going so good, but it won't... Alright. Look, oh, look at the broken showcase and click on it. Broken... Sh what's a showcase? Oh, oh, this guy. This guy over her. Alright. Ah. This window was cut with a diamond. A clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. Music is so See epic. how tiny the hole is, and not one fingerprint upon the window. You always interact with left click. After a clue is examined, the icon will turn green. Please move Sherlock Holmes near the left window. You should see two clue icons immediately. The left window? Oh my, look at that. Oh, interesting. All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. Okay. Now how do I... Uh, you can switch cursor between items by using... What? 
Oh, there we go. Undoubtedly oh, I see. By okay. Diamond. Someone tried to cut the glass, <clears throat> but he was interrupted. Therefore, the thief tried to escape through the window, but he was interrupted. What? That's what I just said. Go to the chimney. All right. Okay, so a lot of the things are about the same. Like the, the icons turning green when you've already examined something and all that. Open your inventory by clicking the right mouse button while playing. You can always activate any of your items from your inventory by rolling the center wheel of your mouse. True debt. Uh... Okay. Here are the pianos. The music scores are on the floor. Let's look at them. Let us examine the crumpled scores that have fallen off the piano. Nothing Herp. of interest here. Nothing Herp. of interest here. Nothing Herp. of interest here. <laughs> Nothing of interest here. What? You are crazy. Can I just take them? No. All right, I'm examining. These sooty prints were left. There's sooty prints over there. That's what I was clicking on, you dummy. I don't understand why these music scores are covered with. And that's like actually supposed to be a handprint, though. It looks like a child print. Press R or middle mouse button to switch to first person mode. Ah. Pressing L shift will make your character run. Press R to switch to point and click mode. Oh, oh my gosh, this is great. This is just awesome. Oh, I like this a lot. <laughs> oh, you know, just doing a little jer jerker. Just doing a little joggy jog. By pressing space. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Okay, that was in the other games too. These it just wasn't called a sixth sense. Even though they're addressed to the Minister of Maritime Affairs. The oh, Marquis himself. Thingy on the ground. Okay, is that. Is that just a pronunciation difference? Candle. It must have fallen from the chandelier. Because I think normally we would say Marquis, right? Instead of the Marquis. Yeah, I want that one. Prince. You are not going to get on your knees to examine them. There is no need. It is soot. The <laughs> servants must have trodden in it while they were putting out the fire. Ah, that makes sense. Heading yeah, towards one. his chosen escape route, probably the window, the thief knocked over the stool, which then caught fire. But why didn't he try to put the fire out at once? Strange. There are some objects here that have been knocked over. Well, yeah, he knocked a thingy straight into the, the fire, fire started man. here just beneath the bell pull whoever pulled the cord would have had his feet in the fire unless it was pulled before the fire started Erker. what about this what the chest this? wasn't opened the necklace wasn't in it okay um r oops no that's not what i want i want oh goodness what have i done <laughs> silly silly billy me Ah, the dur. When the servants arrived at the door, having been alerted by the bell, they saw evidence of the theft and the what fire, but they didn't see the thief. This door is very hard to force. The Marquis is the only person to have the key. The thief could not get out through here until eventually, when the door was opened by the servants. Um, okay. This draft Bloop. screen makes an ideal hiding place. As the theft was committed at night, I conclude that the thief hid himself behind the draft screen and waited until he was alone in the room. Really? Doesn't that seem a little too... Strange. There aren't any prints. Yet I'm sure that the thief hid here. Maybe he had felt on his shoes. Oh! Ah, Mr. Holmes. You're already here. And Good I know who did it. You've arrived just in time. Ha <laughs> ha. Scotland Yard arrives like the cavalry, always in the nick of time. Ah, but I know that satisfied expression, Mr. Holmes. Have you already solved the case? He looks... he looks the same. It's possible. <laughs> we have retraced the thief's rather unusual footsteps. <coughs> he is a true acrobat. But what I cannot understand is that when the servants entered the room, there was no one to be seen. An acrobat, perhaps, but an invisible one? <laughs> I do not think so. The only explanation is that the thief escaped before the servants arrived. 
I don't know how, but there is no. He went up the way. chimney. Guys, he went up the chimney. Half a point for the doctor, nil for the inspector. He I'm pleased to see you. you find the situation amusing, Mr. Holmes. Very well then. Explain. Oh, but Dr. it was on Watson fire. Was correct when he mentioned acrobatics, but he is mistaken about the nature of the acrobat. As for you, Baines, you're quite incorrect, as the thief was in the room when the servants entered. Explain, for heaven's sake, Mr. Holmes. Watson, how could a thief be missed in the middle of eight men? I don't know. Because he is very small? Stop teasing us, Holmes. Exactly. Because he is small. Small and remarkably agile. You're thinking of a monkey? And a trained monkey at that. Without a doubt, a Leontopicathus rosalia from Central America. The animal had been hidden inside the room for several hours, calmly awaiting the signal from his master. Once night had fallen and the room was empty, a high-frequency whistle alerted the monkey that it was time to begin the procedure for which he had been trained. The monkey emerged from his hiding place and used the point of a diamond to open the glass cabinet and steal the necklace. He headed across to the window by the chimney, but knocked over the stool, which in turn knocked aside the fire guard and started the fire. The frightened monkey jumped from the chimney by swinging from the bell pull, thus alerting the house servants. What? He then went to the window and began to use his diamond to cut a hole, but was interrupted by the staff trying to gain entry via the door, and he panicked again. He ran across the piano, scattering the music scores onto the floor, before hiding inside the chandelier, knocking over a candle. Ooh. Finally, how the tiny is this monkey? Entered the room, leaving the door open while they put out the fire. It was during the confusion that our agile little thief made his escape through the doorway. As simple as that. A brilliant explanation. Bravo, Holmes. What? I'd and be like, necklace? that sounds like poppycock, y'all. I can see it from here, my friends. It's right in front of us. We have searched the room from top to bottom, Holmes. How were we unable to find it? because we paid insufficient attention to the only victim of this affair. What victim? No one is dead? Yes, Watson. A poor goldfish, whose destiny was to die, crushed by one of the most precious necklaces in England. The aquarium is just beneath the chandelier. I understand. The little monkey had likely hung the necklace around its neck and lost it when he leapt from the chandelier. The jewels fell into the aquarium, where they remain now. Oh man, honey badger. How did they get buried that deep so quick? Wait, how long ago did this happen? I need details, Holmes. Marquis, here is your necklace. Intact. Uh. Just a little wet. Mr. Holmes. This brilliant demonstration does credit to your reputation. Thank you so much, Marquis. Do you wish to verify the authenticity of your jewel? No, I recognize it. I have spent many hours admiring it, you know. Good. I will return it to its box and... Inspector! A bank has just been held up! You must follow me at once! Orders of Scotland Yard! What times? Sirs, duty calls. My regards, Marquis. And well done again, Mr. Holmes. There, the necklace is in its box. We've lost enough time here. Let's go home, Watson. Ah, very well, as you wish. A good day to you, Marquis. With pleasure, gentlemen. And once again, thank you. I feel like I could cosplay as that dude. I'm gonna be the Marquis from the Testament of Sherlock Holmes, the very beginning of the game. We never saw him again, he was a one-off character. Ah, uh, it's so much prettier than the other games. <sighs> this makes me so happy. The controls are so much tighter. Ah, I love it all. I love everything about it. Except for the drinking. This morning that mouth was not believable. Holmes, have you read this article about you? No, Watson, not yet. And I won't have time to. Read it before you leave. It's outrageous. If you insist. Uh, I'm reading an article. Sherlock Holmes at the home of the Marquess of Conningham. 
The investigation is a fiasco. Yesterday, the celebrated detective Sherlock Holmes was invited to the manor of the Marquess of Conningham to supply his conclusions following his investigation into the disappearance of the priceless Samoan necklace. It should be recalled that the lady called in the detective after the police appeared, flummoxed in the face of the astonishing circumstances surrounding the theft. Indeed! The valuable piece of jewelry disappeared while the door to the room in which it was displayed was locked. The alarm was raised by the servants. By the servants. Those are real. Alerted by the room's service bell ringing out during the night. When the Marquis, the only person in possession of the key, opened the door, everyone rushed in to extinguish a fire that had started before it was noticed that the necklace had mysteriously vanished. They are not utilizing these papers correctly. So much dead space. The most astonishing factor is that no thief was found within the room, and all the exits were closed. As usual, Mr. Holmes resolved the case in the twinkling of an eye, and the jewel was recovered. I will not waste my time on the various explanations as to the disappearance, because I would prefer to draw your attention, dear readers, to the last surprising developments in the case, following the departure of Sherlock Holmes, who placed the necklace in the safe himself. The Marquis noted that the jewel was nothing but a poor copy of the original. Let it not be forgotten that the Samoan necklace, although plain and without ornament, is unique because of the rarity of its pearls. Pearls which are found only in a small part of the lagoon of the Arbolago, the same name, and to which the scientists attribute their exceptional quality to the strong density of crystal of aragonite and that they are made of. I keep adding words and taking out words. The priceless necklace brought here at the beginning of the century by Lord Fenton Artwick, the Marquis's grandfather, and an eminent explorer, should have been part of her daughter's dowry for her marriage to the Duke of Newcastle. So, I'm going to place a simple question. Should we not, in all open-mindedness, ask ourselves if the necklace was not simply and deliberately exchanged for a fake by Mr. Holmes himself? I am aware, dear readers, that the brutality of this question, without any preconceptions, may certainly shock some of you. But the facts are that this is so long, and our thoughts and the judgment should not be confused with the regards while we all share with the famous detective. It is not the first time that the global explorer has expressed its reservations as to Sherlock Holmes' methods. Do not forget our counter-investigation into the escape of the the Frenchman, who took malign pleasure in tarnishing the image of our royal family, and who, by lucky chance, managed to elude capture by Mr. Holmes. How many more pa- Ah, oh, it's so long! Why did I do that? Oh, I've lost my place! At the time, we were not hesitating to consider attacking a company on the part of the Lord of the quite apparent. This character trait shows more of an opportunist and brilliant and super than that of the altruistic defender of the law. I would draw attention to our readers to the suggestion that the description of the gentleman provided by his friend Dr. John Watson through his stories is a long way from the truth. Indeed, his behavior is derisive, contemptuous, haughty, and offensive toward the police, and in particular toward Inspector Baines, replacing Inspector Lestrade, who is currently convalescent. Ah, uh, and a habitual abuser of narcotics such as heroin and cocaine. This is one. My dear readers, it is important to disregard Sherlock Holmes's good reputation in order to form an objective opinion to ask pertinent questions. Was the necklace that Holmes found already a fake? If that was the case, why did he not mention it? And why should he insist on placing it back within the safe himself? Has the detective some unsavory interest in this affair, or is it a simple case of deceit in order to steal the extraordinary Samoan necklace? It is up to you, dear readers, to form your own opinions, but you can count upon the humble servant to continue revealing to the public the doubtful methods and motivations of one who, in the future, I shall not hesitate to call Sherlock Holmes the usurper. To be continued, O oh Farley. Yeah, I read it. Ville, French culinary expert and bagpipe player, might be our next king. That's not so shocking, my dear fellow. <laughs> you know exactly to which article I'm referring, Holmes. How can Farley dare to tarnish your reputation like that? Oh, you, know. you know, Watson, that wherever glory walks, jealousy is bound to follow. <laughs> As for the forgery of the necklace, I suspect that we shall soon be enlightened in this regard. Come in, Inspector Baines. The door's open. Wall. Ah, Mr. Holmes. How did you know I was here? How did you, you sit are down one so of our quickly? Rare visitors who avoids the second to last step of the stairs, which creaks dreadfully. And if I add the clinking of the handcuffs at your belt, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Inspector? Have you read that rag? 
What? Inspector, I assume that you have the fake necklace with you. It's why you're here. Your superiors would like me to examine it. Indeed. <coughs> they would like you to confirm or deny putting this fake in the box. <laughs> Can't that be? I did I it. I must go to the house of Lord Peregrine Maitland, the Bishop of Knightsbridge. Inspector, can you explain this slander? God, Watson looks so intense all the really time. Being replaced by a fake? I don't know how the reporter got hold of the information, but it's true. About the necklace, of course. I wouldn't permit myself to question the integrity and honesty of Mr. Holmes. Thanks, the buddy. The necklace is a forgery? Impossible. I saw the Marquis authenticated before my very eyes, before Holmes returned it to its place. Mr. Holmes, the Marquis believes Osmond Farley's theory. I shouldn't be surprised if the reporter isn't behind all this slander about you. He's a freelancer, well known for his explosive and subjective articles. In any case, the Marquis assures us that you were the last person to have the necklace in your hands. Yeah, Let's that's return true. to the Marquis's house, Holmes. I'm sure that we'll have no trouble in taking apart this theory. It is unnecessary. Such allegations collapse on their own, like one of Mrs. Hudson's souffles. Let us leave the police wow, to solve this Mrs. problem Hudson. and turn our attention to the matters in hand. Perhaps you are right, Holmes. And the Marchioness? She is beside herself. Without the necklace, her marriage is compromised. It is the principal item of the young woman's dowry. Well, what but... What a lovely marriage. <laughs> Examine. Forgive me for insisting, but don't you want to examine the fake jewellery? I was just Watson, we were I have chatting an appointment, with And it's out of the question that I arrive late. It will only take you a couple of minutes... You really must quell the suspicions put forward in this appalling article. If you will allow me, Inspector, be my guest. Very well. <gasps> Fine. Ugh. What do you think, Holmes? Wait, do I... Oh, it's right there. What do you... No! Just this... I need that. Yeah. It looks the same to me. The pixels are identical. Find out if the necklace is authentic or not. This Lol. pearl is a different color. <laughs> Lol. These three pearls are of poor quality. Is there anything else? This pearl Lol. is too small. It is not in its place here. Too many defects. This necklace is a fake. Really obvious defects. Wow. And at a glance, it would appear that the forger has intended for it to be seen. Yeah, as such. no joke. How could we have been fooled by such a blatant imitation? A I drunk don't understand. guy made it. Yes. For real. How is it possible? Holmes, do you have a theory about this? I have absolutely no idea. You insisted that I examine the necklace, and I have done so. Now it is important that I keep my appointment. I'm sure, Inspector, that you will throw some light on this affair. We're Holmes. You may accompany me, Watson. <laughs> you dummy. You do who, so. what is he, who does Goodbye, he look gentlemen. like? I'll keep you informed as to my inquiries. Goodbye, Inspector. You mentioned a bishop, didn't you? Are we going to his <coughs> home? Yes. Oh, God, he looks like... I put his address on our map of London on my desk. Would you get it for me, please? All right, Holmes. And now we're playing Dr. Watson. Baby to bear. Who, who do you... Um... James McAvoy. He's got that same, you know, like, you know, he's got the scrunchy face. You know, you know, guys? The work table where Holmes analyzes acid things. water. <laughs> okay, where's our map? It's right there. What? What the bones? Is this the map you're talking about? Because map. there's another map on the wall. Okay. Beep. It's so much prettier. I'll get over it eventually. It's not right now. The police? Already? How did you know? May oh, his arm is all sorts of messed up. Did yes. you see that? Look yes, at that! But come in. Sir, your arm is bending back on itself. Did you what know? What has happened, Reverend? Sir. What? I I don't know. <laughs> it was last night, I think. I only just arrived. And I have made this macabre discovery. My god. How horrible. I haven't called anyone. How did you know that? Holmes, look! The bishop, what? appallingly mutilated. How dreadful. Mutilated? And killed? He was such a good man. How could anyone be so brutal? Look at him. 
He is barely recognizable now. How could any of God's children be responsible for that? They were evidently unworthy children, Reverend. Now do please try to calm yourself and focus, because we will need your assistance. Do you have any idea as to the motive behind this? I haven't had time to do an inventory, but nothing appears to have been stolen. And anyway, His Excellency didn't own anything of great value. I don't know what else I can tell you. Note this down, please, Doctor. Doctor? But you aren't the police? No, Reverend. I am Sherlock Holmes, I mean... and this is Dr. Watson. We are here at the request of the Bishop. In that case, I must ask you to leave, and not to touch anything. I must get in touch with the authorities without further delay. Uh, Reverend, when the inspectors of Scotland Yard find themselves at a dead end, which they quite often do, I assure you, then they turn to me for help. If you will allow us to continue our investigation, then you shall have the answers to all of your questions. Out of the question! <sighs> I don't even know you! I'm going to call the police, whether you like it or not. It would be better for everyone, Reverend, if you kept your temper. Watson, are you taking notes? This affair promises to be a complex one, therefore we must not overlook the slightest detail. Yes, Holmes. I am keeping a meticulous set of notes. I have created a very clever deduction board. One thing oh, we can be sure of at the moment is that this crime was not for gain. The Reverend has informed us that nothing valuable was stolen. And indeed, it would seem that the Bishop had nothing of any worth to take. He's learned very so good, much. Watson. Do continue. Worth. Make the right deductions based on the facts that you have. Bishop didn't own anything of value, not even in his safe. That is true. This is hilarious. And the other one's all like fancy. Okay. Oh man. All right. Oh, should we stop here? Oh, I'm conflicted. No, let's analyze. I want to know. I want to see things. What's this? A broken file and blood near the neck. What I bet that was used smell. on him. <laughs> Chemical components, I think. Okay. A broken bottle of whiskey. However, the Bishop of Knightsbridge was known for his sobriety. There is blood on this paperweight. Man, ur thing here was used on him. A bottle of whiskey. I can make out fingerprints stained with blood and dirt. It would seem that the brutes who tortured the bishop to death were intoxicated with alcohol. Uh, is this... This is too early for fingerprints to, like, matter, right? Or no, or is it? Oh, this but, stove I don't know. is filled to overflowing. Alright, let's... Let's look at that body, shall we? Oh, the fingers so have been great. crushed and violently struck. Not like this scenario right here, but like just the way that they're His doing it is, is so much better. Scratches. Quite evidently, they weren't made recently. So, these wounds were not made by his murderers. Mm. The fingers have been crushed and violently struck. His forearms have been ripped. Pieces of skin have been torn off. What do you think, Watson? I'd say that he was eaten alive. <laughs> I've noticed a curious eaten alive. Of the around the wounds. Hmm, interesting. Can we move? Can we move up, up that body, or are we not done? A piece of rope that was used to tie up that poor man. Anything else? Over here. Okay. What about his face? You can see by his expression that he suffered terribly. His that, mouth is covered dude. in blood, and I can make out strips of skin between his teeth. My mm. dear friend, everything points to this man having gnawed at his own forearms. What? Unbelievable, Holmes. His right. chest has been lacerated, I would say, with a very sharp and fine blade. I have one of those. Uh, anything else? Up her. There's the window. To the window! To the wow! Okay, that's all green. That's all green. Let's look down here now. These burns are terrible. Thank His you. Feet that have been tells burned. us a lot. 
Hmm. Oh, there's a finger on the ground. Is that he wears that a size up? nine shoe. You. But what does it matter? Her? What you? A Pick finger. that up. Apparently, it doesn't belong to the Bishop of Knightsbridge. How dreadful! How dreadful! Full Rizzle, guys. This poor man was tied just below the knees. To stop him from walking, certainly, but mostly to free his feet. My God, Holmes, this man was horribly tortured. Uh, uh, okay. So we've... We, we, we did it all. Guys, we did it all. Oops. Something is missing here. Oh, yes? And what might that be? His shoes. Watson, his shoes are missing. Where them shoes at? Where them shoes at? Where them shoes at? Where them shoes at? A whip? No. It is a discipline for self-flagellation. It's a whip. It's a whip. This so. metal rod is for fastening the chillis. What's it's a chillis? It's a chillis designed to <coughs> bruise the person wearing it. The <coughs> bishop wore it as repentance. This very pious man must have had the habit of mortifying his flesh as a means of repentance. Uh oh. He's all into debt. Oh no, is this gonna be a puzzle? Oh, but. Okay, well. I need something. You need. Yo Thang, you need. Reverend, Oops. I'm missing something. An implement with which to open this chest. No, don't I but have could it? Can you tell me where to find it? No, I have no. it. Go to the devil! What are you afraid of, Reverend? What is inside the chest? I'm not afraid of anything. In fact, I do have the necessary implements. But if I have to give them to anyone, it will be to a representative of the law and no one else. <sighs> the picture of Peregrine Maitland, commander of the infantry brigade of Her Majesty's Guards at Waterloo. The Bishop of Knightsbridge has the same name as his ancestor. An illustrious family. Quite. Right, is there any any butts over here? Any butts? Anyone? Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but <laughs> but let's go Watch ahead and look at stuff. What were you putting your feet, Watson? Have you noticed these prints upon the ground? Well, yes. Those muddy marks. See here, Watson. Footprints can often provide more vital information than the very best of informants. Yes, if you know how to make them talk, that is. It's child's play, Watson. <laughs> we will begin by excluding the contaminating prints, which are yours and mine from where we came in, and those of our dear Reverend, who was so impatient to call the police. Can you blame him? Uh, he wears a size 9 shoe. Yes. Size 9. Okay. Size 9. Okay. Size nine. This one's different. Size nine. <sighs> Size nine and a half. That one's different. Size nine and a half. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. What about this one? This, this is a bishop's print came shoe, right? from an expensive pair of shoes, and it seems recent. It is not a laborer's shoe. A fragment of stone. Peculiar. Word. What's this? What's this stuff? What do the. F oh. How many criminals were there? Two? That's not right. Somewhere. Ah! Come on. It's not going to be one print for every person, right? Okay, so we have to take... Okay. <sighs> one man joined who were already in the room. One man left the room wearing different shoes. One man was carried so as not to leave footprints. All men left, left the room jumping on one knee. One man joined those who were already in the room, I That's bet. That's not right. What? Si but like, if it was... Strange, but true. One of the crooks was wearing a different pair of shoes when he left here. So he he wore the bishop's shoe. Herbiously. But if... 
So we have to we have to take out So this is the Reverend, probably, right? But then the rest of them are laborer shoes. Perfect. We now know that there were three crooks. Therefore, we have three men who came in and left again, <coughs> but one of them was wearing a different pair of shoes from the ones which he came in with. So, all we have to do is look for a workman who likes Italian shoes. Watson, don't be a dermy. What's this? I'm just going to go ahead and scalp take that. Covered in blood. There isn't any doubt. The wounds on the bishop were administered with this scalpel. We have a murder weapon! Guys, we have a murder weapon! Anything else on the ground? Anything else over here? Anything over her? Anything that I missed? Uh, let's see if I can use that. Yeah. Can I use that? Oh, it's, I need something. It's not gonna be that. Impossible to open it. All right. I thought maybe, but I guess not. <sighs> All right. Oh, I don't want to stop, but this video is gonna be balls long if I don't stop now. If I don't stop now, all the balls, it's gonna be so balls. I'll open one more Closed. door. The veranda door hasn't been forced. Strange. Reverend, might I He's not gonna key? help you, he doesn't no. like you. You have no authority here, let me call the police. Go do Perhaps it then, if you're just gonna be home. sitting around like, Yo, I really wanna call the police, will you just Watson. leave? I know that he doesn't wanna leave us alone, but... Then just force us to come... <sighs> Look at our deduction board. I'm upset. Um. Let's look at this. Well, the murderer is left in different shoes. Yes. The bishop's shoes are missing. So one of the murderers left wearing the bishop's shoes. Herbviously. The veranda wasn't searched. The bishop didn't own anything of value. The murderers were looking for something specific. Bishop took the murderers by surprise. Mm. Murderers were unable to open the safe. The victim was savagely tortured. The bishop was mortifying himself. He was used to the pain. Um, he resisted the torture, I'm gonna go with. What's this? The bishop gnawed at himself. The broken flask has some blood at its top. Murderers may murderers tortured him with glass. And murderers weren't able to open the safe. The bishop resisted torture. Mur bishop's murderers didn't get what they wanted. Yeah! We did it! Okay. Um, one of the murderers left wearing the bishop's shoes. Um, one of the murderers came back for his shoes. The murderers are poor. One of the murderers sells shoes. I'm gonna go with this, I guess. Murderers are poor. The murderers were looking for something specific. Murderers were hired by someone. Huh. Yeah, there we go. It is evident go. that the Bishop of Knightsbridge's killers were after something specific, and that they did not find it. Reverend, I shall ask you one more time. Open the chest. The item they were seeking must still be inside. It is unlikely that they will let this matter rest. They will most certainly return to finish what they started. And I'm telling you once more, the chest is locked and shall remain so. Very well. We have reached an impasse. You are a stubborn man, Reverend. Wow. Watson, accompany our friend to the police station and return with Inspector Baines. Baines and no one else. I shall wait for you here. Go. No, you don't get to just, like, Alone chill. Last. Now I can continue what? my investigation. You are such a butthole. He's like, no, I'll just stay here. It's no biggie. Who, do who, do who does that, Holmes? Who are you? Look, I've got a finger! And a pokey thingy! Okay, let's just... Let's be holding nothing, shall we? Shall we? Oh! Alright. Alright, dude, let's stop. Let's... Let's take a breather. And when we come back, we'll get this... We'll get this safe open, guy. It's alright. Yeah, let's get in really close. 
Uh, it looks so much better than the other games, and the movements are so much better, and the hiccups that they had in the menus before are, like, non-existent. And I just love it. I love it. I'm so happy. I can't wait to keep playing this. But, alas, I need to eat. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go eat. Ha 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 ha.